So earlier this year, I read Tiny Habits by BJ Fogg, and it's really called Tiny Habits, The Small Changes That Change Everything. And I thought we should talk about it because I think this is a super helpful book. In this video, I'm going to tell you what tiny habits are and what his method is for creating your own tiny habits to make really big changes in your life. So if we haven't met, my name is Cassandra and I help motivated professionals build their careers and businesses through practical tips to gain career confidence. And so this can actually be used in your job search along with any other part of your life. So essentially the concept is when trying to build a habit, we tend to go too big and over time motivation wanes things get in the way and we don't keep doing it. But if we make the habit that we're gonna start doing super, super small, we can start there and then build upon it, right? Doing that little thing will motivate you to keep going. So here's how you do it. You wanna first brainstorm what is something you wanna do? What is a habit you wanna start? Um, something that you think would improve your life. So for example, I wanna drink more water. Okay, great. So now we have to scale that back to the tiniest, tiniest habit we could start. So in my case, let me show you. Instead of just saying like, oh, I wanna drink more water and then just every day going, okay, today I'm gonna to drink a gallon of water. After a while I'll go, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't wanna get up and refill my water again. Well, one thing that can help is finding a tool, like a giant gallon water bottle. But even then, it could be like, okay, I have to drink that gallon of water. That's not gonna do it on its own. What's the tiniest habit I could do? So you scale it back to the absolute tiniest habit that's so small that you're basically like, it would be harder not to do it. So in my case, that tiny habit would be, I have to fill this gallon water bottle every day. But to really make it stick, you now have to connect that tiny habit to an action. So the easiest way to do this is to think of a point in your routine and literally write this down. After I blank, I will do this habit. So after I make my coffee in the morning, I will fill the giant water bottle. Easy enough. BJ's was after I go to the bathroom, I will do one push up. Now, I don't know how he kept that up in public restrooms, but at least at home, that was his thing. It was just easy to go every time I go to the bathroom, I have to do one push up. And sometimes when he's down there, he thinks, okay, well, I'm already here, I'll do two or three, right? But another key of this is if you really only do that tiny habit, just that one little piece, that's good for the day because you want to keep it up and do it again the next day and the next day you might have more motivation. So here's the really interesting part that he figured out is after you've made this tiny habit so small that motivation or not, you will continue to do it. You figured out where in your routine you'll do it. After you do it, you have to celebrate. What? Yes you have to find some way to celebrate. So after I've filled the water bottle, I have to say out loud something like, good job, or like, yes, or something. Now here's the interesting thing, that celebration has to be genuine. So this can take some experimenting for what works for you. And I fully admit, it feels a little silly at first, but you will find something that works for you that makes you happy. What he's found is that when people celebrate, they're more likely to do it. And he gives the example of Candy Crush. Divine. If you have played Candy Crush, which I'm back on that bandwagon, when you win a level, they go crazy. Things explode, lights come out, the mu if you leave the sound on, the music and the sounds go crazy. They want you to know you are awesome for finishing this level. It's a game, y'all. We don't realize it, but that's psychologically making us feel good and wanting to what? <gasps> Play the next level and win. So you need to do that in your own life. Don't forget to celebrate when you've done something great, like fill the water bottle. Not just celebrate when I finish the water bottle, but celebrate for filling it. That tiny habit got done. Basically, he talks a lot about the fact that 
People tend to build a habit off of motivation, but motivation tends to wane over time. So you want a habit that works when it's so small uh, because even when the motivation starts to go away, you're like, no, it doesn't take a ton of energy. I can do this habit. And then the habit will build on each other. Now that you've taken that first step, it's easy to now drink the water. Or now that you've done one push up and you're down there, let's do a couple more. And then that made you feel good. So you go, yeah, I will go on a walk. Or now that you put your running shoes on each morning, you go, yeah, I will go outside for a little bit and take a walk around the block. Like you're just making it so tiny that you have no excuse to keep going. And interestingly, I did a version of this in grad school. I will be very honest right now. I didn't look this up, but somebody did a TED talk on this a while ago talking about one push-up or one minute of exercise and that it keeps you going. It might have been him. I'm, now I need to go look it up. But when I was in grad school, I would have the hardest time typing papers. Like, I love the research stage. I love putting it all together and outlining it. But when you make me sit there and write the paper... So I would set a timer for five minutes. And I truly told myself, you only have to write for the next five minutes. And sometimes I would write five minutes and be on a roll. And sometimes I would go, oh, thank God that five minutes is done and walk away. And both were okay. But it really was a way to get me started and get into the paper. So make that habit tiny. Now, a really interesting part of this is that you need to lock in that habit, right? We've made this habit so small that it kind of can be hard to think about like, okay, but how I did it one day, it was so small, how do I remember to do it again tomorrow? Well, the first time you do it, do it three times in a row. So I would pour water in here and then I would pour it back out and then I would pour it in again and pour it back out. And you celebrate every time you do it. I would pour it in and be like, yes. And then I would pour it out and do it three times so that I lock in that habit and remember to do it again tomorrow. Now, you could do this with so many things, right? If you want to start reading, you could start by saying, I'm going to read a paragraph of a book each day. If you want to start journaling, you have to do one line. If you are working on your resume and that seems daunting, you have to make one new bullet point, right? Make it really tiny. So, I hope this helps you. If you want more info, I'm going to put the link to BJ's book in the description box below. And let me know in the comments, what is a tiny habit you are going to try starting today? That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.